And, and on top of that, I want to share with you a new goal that we have when we, as we go into uh, the, as we go into 2014 for all of our folks listening to us on the radio. Um, we're trying to get a million YouTube views and 5,000 subscribers, and you can help us do it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do so right now, www.youtube.com slash Fowler Show. Um, do that for us if you can. And if you can't do that, you know, you could at least go and then click and watch a couple videos. You could do it on your cell phone, wherever, from wherever you are in the world, so do that for me too. But right now, it's time for your news by the numbers. There's no talking points. There's no talking heads. There's no smoking guns. It's just the raw numbers. And tonight's number, ladies and gentlemen, is 40 million. And the reason for that is the state of Colorado, by removing criminal penalties for, for marijuana, has saved anywhere from 12 to $40 million over the last year. Yes, indeed, it is true. So... The governor of the state signed an executive order ratifying the overwhelming victory of Amendment 64, the nation's first statewide vote to end marijuana prohibition. Now, what, 60, what Amendment 64 says is you have, you can, for personal use, for possession, for home cultivation of small amounts of marijuana are now all illegal in the Centennial State for adults 21 years and older legal did i say illegal folks i think i did legal for those 21 years and older this is a this is a big deal um and basically what's happening is is the issue because the justice department the u.s the united states justice department sort of said listen we're not going to prosecute if there's federal charges because the state law in this particular case we're going to allow it to we're going to see the federal law and allow the state law to prevail pretty much People are, there's no criminal justice issues, nobody's in court for marijuana possession, um, you know, there's all, they're also bringing in new tax revenues because in order for you to produce these small amounts, you have to go get license. And there's a legal mark, a state-based market for legal marijuana to be, sale, to be sold, and when it's sold, their tax is given. It's a good thing, right? So I wish other states and other governors and other, you know, electors would be bold and brave enough to join Colorado in legalizing marijuana. Why would you put somebody behind, behind bars for smoking some stuff that comes out the ground? Like, I just don't get it. So let's see if we can fix this, folks. But well, shout out to Colorado, save themselves $40 million. Any other state that wants to join the bandwagon and save $40 million a year, now's the time to do it. Colorado's shown the way, and you can, you could follow right behind them.